Hello and good morning, family. Happy Monday. It is March 25th, 2024. Can you believe it? We're almost done with March. Well, let's see what's going on uh, with the messages from Spirit today. All right, let's just dive right in. All right. Now, if Spirit leads me to, I will focus on numbers. If not, I will leave that to Sister Nadia. Okay? All right. Fairy Oracle today. Celebration. Beautiful. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. Ooh, we having a party. It's time to go out to dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. What are we celebrating? Well, that could be anything. It could be an individual thing. It could be a family thing. It could be a global thing. It could be anything. But this reminds us to have an open mind that look for the positive, not the negative. Uh, we're going to be hooping and hollering and dancing and singing and celebrating soon. How? What form? I don't know. But Spirit is uh, reminding us that it's coming. It's coming. All right. Here we go. Angelic Light Worker. Number 22. Your heart is a healer. And by the way, the warning that Spirit gave us last week is still in effect. You will have some repeats, and that's fine. There is a reason. When spirit allows me to shuffle and shuffle and shuffle these decks, if a repeat comes in, it's because we have to pay attention a little harder on those, okay? So this is 22. Your heart is a healer. So let's find out what this means. All right. Now, 22, which equals 4. I'll, I'll let Nadia do the math. She's really good at that. All right. You are now offered healing for the heart in all matters of love and forgiveness. Your heart is a divine genius, a true healer. It knows how to experience all emotions, from the heights of bliss and pure divine love to the depths of sadness, loss, and the pain of betrayal. It can arise renewed again and again. This oracle asks you to give your heart some extra love. It is working hard for you to heal, renew, and open to the next chapter. There is something special in the wings of your life, and your heart is guiding you toward it. Continue to let go of meanness, cruelty, and pain from the past. Let it be. Give your mind permission to tune in to the loving wisdom of your heart that always knows the way to heal and move closer to the divine fulfillment of your highest destiny. So are we still holding on to some ugliness, which is a sign that we haven't completely healed. We haven't completely cut cords and let go of things. You have to do that internal work on your own heart to be able to fulfill it, to fulfill it, okay? So if there's a lot of stuff that you're not quite sure and it makes you angry, I'm a work in progress on this too, and you can't quite figure out how to get out of that rut, the power is within you. The divine light is within you. Christ's consciousness and Yeshua's love is within you. Your divine creator created you to have just as much compassion and divine love and light that he has because you're his creation. We have to let go and let God. And you have to love. Start with yourself. If you're beating yourself up right now, start with yourself. If it's someone else, Honey, let it go. I know, Jen's all about shh, shh, but you know how long it's been since I said that actually at the end of a show? Mm-hmm. Because he's working with me too. 
pay attention. All right? Your heart has the capability of healing lots of different things. It can heal all because you're of the divine light. All right. Mystical shaman. What do we have today? Number 14, the curse. Oh, great, Jen. This one again. Uh, I've been cursed. It's horrible. That sounds terrible. I've been cursed. This is why I'm so mean. Hmm. You see the handprint over the mouth? Who's taking your voice? Let's go into this and figure out what it is. All right? All right. So the divine essence of this card is the curse refers to the limiting stories of our ancestors and the karma from former lifetimes that preordains the events of our lives. It is the source of negative patterns, and it can show up as a disease, a destructive force, or a blockage on our creative energy. The curse holds us hostage to a false story that we confuse for reality. Recognizing the original wound that is playing out in our life can heal it. Now, this is recognizing patterns, and we talked about this last week. Patterns in your life will happen. Patterns will continue to happen in your life until we learn our lesson, because we're not truly healing these patterns. We put a Band-Aid on it and close the door and then put our foot against it and in a center block and go, uh, uh, we'll, ju we'll just leave that for later. If you're not truly cleansing the curse or the patterns and you're not truly healing and letting go, this is a repetitive pattern that will continue to come up. And yes, it does manifest itself into the physical. You can get sick. You can get a disease. People don't like the word cancer, but it can happen. It manifests until you give it the attention that it needs. I recognize you. You no longer exist because the power of the divine light is my healer. It is within me. It is within my heart. That should be a reason to celebrate. Okay? All right. Let's move on to the secret language of light. Today we have number 34. That is seven. And this is soul mating. We've had a few love questions come into the mix recently in our little family. Well, let's explain what that means. Now, before I get into this, I will tell you, Soulmate does not need to be a male and female coming together. You can have a soulmate in many different forms. But let's see what Spirit says. Embrace your soul to reveal a partner. A new encounter or a deepening of an already existing union will profoundly change the way you perceive unconditional love. Chemistry between two people does not mean they are life partners. You have encountered or entered each other's lives to awaken, expand, open your heart so wide that they may never close again. It may last for a moment, a season, or a lifetime. Time is not necessary to shift the cogs of your heart and feel the absolute ecstasy of you. A moment can open you to euphoria. The purpose of the soul relationship is to mirror your love and light. What you put out is what you get. Remember? Okay. And melt away any hard edges or walls you have built. Whatever is mirrored will intensify. Love and peace will feel bigger, but so will fear and pain. This reveals any wounds that hold us away from love so we can heal them as we embrace more of the love we already recognize. So getting a good partner in your life, male or female, doesn't matter. It could be a BFF. It could be your best friend. It could be just somebody you meet in the chat. They can be your soulmate, okay? Because making that intimate connection helps you recognize unconditional love of the creator. 
Okay. And in turn makes you realize the light of the creator is within you and you have the ability to heal all curses. Even if they're temporary, it doesn't mean I'm going, I just want to get married and live happily ever after. That's not what that means. We meet people on a daily basis through the chat room, through people on the street, however that works for you. We are, we have multiple soulmates. Now I'm not going to confuse this with twin flames, but twin flames is kind of similar too. Your twin flame does not have to be your life partner that you're going to marry. These are people that are set into your path divinely to get you to open your eyes to healing that needs to occur, that blessings need to be manifested. Okay. That's what that means. All right. Your love and light Oracle. I'm not going to harp at you too long. I promise. Look at life from a higher perspective. Getting wisdom is the wise, wisest thing you can do. How are you viewing your life right now? Are you seeing all negative? Are you seeing it in a 3D world, 4D world, 12D? Are you seeing it through the eyes of your creator? Do you understand the patterns that spirit is trying to get you to pay attention to? Look at it from a different point of view. We so want to use these 3D eyes to go, but this is what I know and this is what I see and I want it fixed and I want it fixed now. Well, these are what brings us back to, yeah. And then when the creator comes in and fixes all this, we look back in hindsight and going, oh, that's because your divine creator has a higher perspective. So do your guardian angels. So does your higher self. Been there, done that. You're not patient. You're not paying attention. You're in the here and now. And that's, you can be in the here and now, but are you stuck in the here and now? Look at the higher perspective. Darlings, we, our perspective of things, guess what? Newsflash, not always correct. Nope, not that one. We're not leaving out angel therapy. Indigo comes back in here today. We just had this recently. This is a generation of people. It's the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. Dealing with all these things, you may have an indigo come across your life. And these people are divinely directed to help you out of them, to break the curses, to find the healing in your heart. That is another soulmate and another reason to give celebration because they give you a higher perspective. Okay? You see how spirit throws them all together? These are all different decks. And I, I shuffle and I pull and I throw them all together. And spirit makes the story come to life. That's what I do. I'm just the interpreter. And thank you guys for your kind words recently. I'm saying, and K Katrina, I appreciate that. I'll leave it to Jen, you know. We need her to interpret because I guess I just cut through the BS and I just tell you what, what it is, even with a curse word or two. Thank you all for having the patience to listen to me do that. All right. Your divine white light oracle today is number 37, which would equal 10, which is 1 and 0. And that's you and the creator. So oracle of Chaldea or Chaldea, however you want to pronounce it. We've had this one before, but let's go back in and look to see its description. All right. Here we go. Continue on your healing journey with enthusiasm. Oh, who'd have thunk it? Healing. But without forcing things to happen more quickly than feels natural. Sometimes the body will be ready to let go whilst the mind is still holding on. Mm hmm That's a curse. At other times, the mind may need to be patient as the body processes an experience. 
Trust in your own timing and rhythm. There's no need to be impatient or to judge yourself. You're summoning the spiritual fortitude to tackle an issue which has previously held you back. When the time is right, my timing, the healing shall happen more easily than if you had tried to push forward prematurely. Things are going to work out. Be positive. Shall we talk about patience? No, Jen, please. We already got the message. Yeah. You have to have patience with yourself. I, but I don't want, I want it to happen now. Like the microwave. Put it in the microwave. I don't want crock pot. Honey. It will happen in divine timing as you go through a process. We are here to learn. Guess what? Gaia is school. Having fun yet? I know. You're thinking the same thing I am. When is recess? That'd be great. All right. Now, your Cali Oracle. Look at this beautiful repeat today. Number 39. All right, which is 12. Go for it, Nads. Do your math. Moksha of Kali. Now, this is the big lotus flower. And if you understand how a lotus flower works, the root or the seed of this starts out in the depths of the darkness and cold and the mud. And all of a sudden, it starts coming up. And then it blooms at the surface when it sees light. That's the definition of a lotus flower. So let's go back in and find out what this means. Are you in the depths of your mud and your darkness and the horrible crap that you're going through and right now you're just holding your breath until you reach the surface? Let me see the light. Well, guess what that is? You are healing all the curses. And when you reach that, you get to celebrate. And maybe you got a partner helping you do it be at the perspective of over top of the pond of where the lotus is coming from okay this is uh mokshka mok mokshka mok mokshka mok um i don't know okay uh, macchiata of kali okay we'll take karma macchiata okay mokshka of Kali. Her passion and desire for your liberation is unflagging, and so your relief shall come swiftly. She is speaking to you from within. She is the voice of reassurance. Can you hear her? Do you trust her? Soon you will see things in a better light. You are going to be liberated from the struggle you are currently experiencing. Be true to yourself and your life path, and you will attract the way forward as obstacles appear. Do not turn away, for you are destined to overcome all opposition, bringing your sacred path to fruition. The problem is, we become quitters, and we see the first fence obstacle in front of us, or the pothole, and we go, yeah, no thanks, I'll sit this one out. Until you are going to grow a pair, man up, and do what you got to do. Yes, I use that term loosely. But this means get bravery. Find it within your heart. You are the healer. You can do this. The problem is you've been told to sit back and sit on your hands. Somebody else will do it. Maybe later. Well, for somebody that's very impatient, you're not really doing the work, are you? She's going to help guide you through this. She's going to help make you flourish. And that's within you. That's within the divine light. Well, Jen, you're very harsh. Yes, I am. That's my job. That's how I interpret these cards. If you see it and you get something different, go with it, lovey. I'm just here to do my job. Okay? Now, your extra card today from tarot is the five of cups very sad okay now this is the number five and in tarot i want you to remember this is reassurance fives are temporary situations but this is about loss you have lost something great in your life and this can uh equal depression i'm i'm sad I, I'm just in disarray. Well, 
It doesn't have to be a physical human that you've lost or somebody that walked out on you. It doesn't. This can also um, represent something that didn't go your way. Yes, that's where we as toddlers get to stomp our feet in front of our creator and go, but but I wanted it that way. And he goes, well, let me know when you're done with your tantrum. Things that didn't go our way, the five of cups can represent. Well, dang on it. No, I'm sad. And he goes, well, be sad. Take your time. But when you're ready, you're going to come up out of that mud. You're going to heal yourself. You're going to see it from my perspective. Maybe God creator is your soulmate. Maybe you've talked to somebody that's an indigo. Realize the curse that you haven't dealt with. All right. That gives you true celebration. You see how spirit talks in all these different decks. Deal with a loss as a celebration. Okay, I lost it. Why did I lose it? But it's not permanent. Fives are temporary. You're going to come out of it and you're going to realize from a different perspective, whoo, it's probably a good thing I didn't get that. Perspective is everything. And your number one perspective should be self-love and absolutely Love your divine creator. All right. That is your message for this Monday. Sorry if it's too much lecture, but that's what Jen gives you. I hope you got a blessing out of it. I do love you. Enjoy your day.